I've been leading the effort in New Hampshire to push for getting passenger rail and commuter rail from Boston up to the central part of the state uh, for years, and I'm glad we're making some progress, but we need to get it done now. Uh, the truth is we commissioned an independent economic feasibility study that shows it will create 5,600 new jobs for New Hampshire businesses that grow as a result of being able to access a bigger talent pool. Even if you never set foot on a train, it, you'll have the benefit of thousands fewer cars in traffic in front of you on Route 3 or I-93. Uh, we have a specific plan for bringing rail to the airport, to downtown Manchester, to Nashua, uh, and helping businesses grow across the state. You know, I've heard directly from business leaders, and I've seen myself hiring, that it's difficult sometimes to attract everyone you want to for a job that requires specific training or education, and a fast-growing employer. Uh, I've heard from entrepreneurs who were tempted to move to Boston because they knew they could hire quicker there than in New Hampshire. Well, they tell me that if we get commuter rail up and running, they'll be able to hire every job that they need immediately. Uh, and those are people who will make their lives here in New Hampshire where we have much better quality of life anyway. I absolutely positively in, 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 uh, support passenger rail from Boston to Nash, Lowell, Nashua, through the airport to Manchester. I'm not sure at this time it makes sense to go to Concord, so I don't go that far. But I do believe, given all these studies that I've seen, this will be a huge boon to economic development in Manchester, all the quarters of central uh, New Hampshire. And I will tell you, when you look at Nashua and Manchester, it's the only area of that size in the country that, has, that doesn't have passenger rail. And it also has a commercial element to it. There'll be freight that will come up here too. It makes sense in so many ways. We are now at, literally at the end of the line in terms of where we are in, in, when it stops in New Hampshire. And there are a lot of companies that could leave our state, this city, unless we have meaningful passenger rail. Young people want it. It makes sense. We spend 43% of our energy dollars just in terms of the way we do uh, transportation in New Hampshire with autos. And I will leave you this thought. We, at the height, we had 4.5 million people flying in and out of Manchester. Now it's around 2 million. I think a lot of that's because all we have to offer as an economy is cars. And the economy of this century is moving beyond that. Commuter rail has the chance to provide positive benefits for New Hampshire. Uh, however, there are a few things that I'd need to know first. First is the federal government being able to pay for the lion's share of the construction cost. Otherwise, what I fear is the cost, the capital cost of building it, would take away from some of the priorities that we have to do in terms of bridges, roads, water, and wastewater, the building blocks of local and state government. The second thing is that it needs to be part of an economic strategy that doesn't just encourage people to live in New Hampshire, but to treat it as a suburb of Boston to simply go down to Massachusetts and live most of their life there. Rather, I want this to be part of a mix that instead of just thinking about trains heading south to Boston, I want to see U-Hauls heading north to New Hampshire because this has to be the best place in America to start a family or to start a business. If it can be done in that context, it would be a net positive.